Hello and thanks for stopping by. This is Road Blasters for the NES. Originally an Atari arcade game, this version was published by Mindscape in 1990, and I'm playing this game off of a cartridge on a retro USB AVS. Road Blasters is a survival racing game where you race through a future setting, shooting cars, and trying to survive 50 levels of racing. Along the way, you pick up extra fuel and special weapons, and you use those to try to make it to the next rally point. I was new to this particular version of the game, and I picked this one up because it was relatively inexpensive. And I played the arcade version a few times, and I liked it. I kind of expected this one to be pretty bad, and though it's not great, it's definitely better than I expected. The arcade version certainly has better graphics overall, as you'd expect, but all the basics to the game have been ported over here. The biggest thing that stands out for me in this game are the colors for the sides of the road. The terrain on the left and the right are represented by alternating shades of the same color. So if the terrain is green, there's going to be a light stripe of green and then a dark stripe of green, and then they repeat. They basically flash back and forth, and this is how speed is represented on screen. For the NES version, I think this is actually kind of jarring. I know this is the same way that the arcade displays speed, but on the NES, it just stands out a little too much for my liking. I think the colors they used are a little too contrasty, and as a result they produce this odd speed effect. The only other thing that stands out strange to me, maybe, would be the angles of the opposing cars. This is kind of specific, but when you're traveling really fast and approaching an enemy car, if you're on a turn at high speed, sometimes the direction the enemy cars appear to be facing, they seem to be at the wrong angle. It makes it look like they're sometimes unnaturally drifting at 200 miles per hour. It just seems off to me, like they should be shooting off the side of the road instead of being in the road. Besides these two items, I think there are a lot of things in the game that I kind of like. First, the controls. They're pretty easy. You press up on the gamepad to speed up, and left and right to steer. The A button is used to fire your guns, and the B button will launch your special weapon if you have one. The special weapons are pretty cool. There aren't a lot of them, but the animation of a jet flying in to drop one off of your car is pretty nice. Now, I can't say these weapons are necessary for the game, but they are fun when you do have them. You can get an Uzi Cannon, which is an auto-fire cannon. There's also an Electro Shield, which protects you from enemy shots, and it also lets you drive into other cars. There's also a Nitro Burst and a Cruise Missile. The Cruise Missile is a lot of fun, because it kills everything on screen at once. I'm a fan. Now, none of these special weapons are actually needed to complete any of the levels, which is good, because once you have one, if you crash, you lose it immediately. Usually I just start using these weapons as soon as I get them. I would rather get some effect from using them immediately, as opposed to getting nothing when I crash or get shot. The car you drive looks decent enough, and the enemy cars, they're okay. There's really only one color for most of them, which maybe is a little dull, but I guess it's not too hard to get used to. There are also only a few basic enemies that you have to worry about. The most common are the yellow-orange cars, which you can shoot. And then there are the bluish-purple cars that are bulletproof. For the bulletproof cars, your standard shot's not going to do anything. You're going to probably have to drive around them most of the time. There are also motorcycles that show up eventually, and occasionally these dune buggy-type vehicles that race into frame from behind. I think it's a decent enough variety, and there are plenty of other things to worry about as well. There can also be turrets on the side of the road that try to shoot you as you drive by, so there's plenty of stuff to worry about. The levels for the most part are pretty standard in terms of track. It turns left and it turns right, and there's really nothing to remember or prepare for in this regard. I know a lot of racing games, they'll show you the map, and you'll have to worry about your path to get through it. Here, not really. When the road turns, you just turn as well. That's it. The terrain outside the road does change color over time, which is really nice and goes a long way from keeping the game from getting boring. Also, the graphics on the horizon change as well. Overall, this is a futuristic setting, so we're going to get a couple of different settings available here. You're going to get a couple of different skylines, you're going to get some mountains in the distance, you're also going to get some volcanoes, and then they also change the basic color of the sky as well, to represent daytime, dusk, and night and they take all these variables and they sort of mix them up a bunch of different times to make things seem different. Works pretty well here. At the end of the race you skid to a stop and you get this little finishing animation, and I gotta say it feels pretty good when you hit the end. It's an oddly satisfying moment, I wasn't expecting it. 
This is certainly not as detailed as the arcade game, but for a port to the NES, I think this is a pretty good one. Road Blasters was ported to a variety of different computers and consoles over the years, and has appeared on a bunch of different collections. The PlayStation has a collection called Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection 2. It was also part of the Midway Arcade Treasures Collection for the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, and the PC. I believe I have the PS2 version, and I'm going to have to give that one a check to compare the two. Well, that's all I have for Road Blasters for the NES. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you on another video.